Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod showcase. This is going to be a special one. We're actually going to go back to a previously done mod. That's right. We're going back to the M1 Garand mod. In honor of Veterans Day, we are going to go get the second special of the M1 Garand. So we are leaving behind every weapon that is not the M1 Garand. So we'll start with Blue Betty. Now, of course, you have to know where to get the second one. And the second one is down this way. Uh, it, huh. I haven't actually been to the location. It's down below Sunshine Tidings. Most people... I generically said in my video that you would find it, I want to say, at this National Guard arm, Armory. And I am still correct about that. At the National Guard Armory is where this is. However, we're going to want to go through it to show where it's at. So we'll start at Sunshine Tidings and go from there. Also, to everyone in the U.S., I'm hoping you guys have a wonderful Veterans Day. And to, all vet to any veterans that may watch this video, thank you. For your service, I will all everyone should be grateful. If they're not, well, meh. <laughs> All the veterans, they've done good for the, the, their country. Alright, so... Actually, here we are. This is the location right here. If I'm remembering correctly. So, we'll go ahead and start this out. Get rid of that. Get of Fido there. Ooh, where? Of course, to show off the gun once we get it, we do already have... We are already running it as... Oh! T-45, hmm. Where? Okay, wait. Below? Oh, there. One. Take that. Down. Inside. Always got to play hero. Can't play anything else. And we are moving a bit faster than usual because we got Blue Betty out. Bust that light open. Now, this, of course, is just the outer section. What we want isn't out here. 
And it's not even over there where I believe they already gra I think that was the power armor. Yeah, they already grabbed the power armor. So what we want isn't out here. And it's not over there. It's down in here. In the Federal Ration Stockpile. That's what it's called. Here in the Federal Ration Stockpile is what we want. Now, I don't remember off the top of my head what this weapon is called. But... It's a really good one. So we're going to... Pop, pop, watching heathen strong. One. Oh, that was the second one. Huh. Now the major way would be to go through that this door immediately. If you can break the code. But there are two paths. And one eventually leads around to it. So we're just going to... Pull up our backside a little bit. Okay. Keep going. Legendary Raider, that's going to be a no-brainer for some nice weaponry. But it's not going to be the weapon we're looking for. Ooh, Stealth Boy. This is... If I'm remembering, I am thinking also down in one of these areas... Is the area for another one of the backpacks? But I'm trying to remember which one off the top of my head. Hmm. And I seem to not remember. It could be in here. But I feel like it doesn't feel like that. Of course, we leveled up, we got a new perk, we could use it. Or we could just hold on to it. Might be in this room. Military grade circuit board. Cap stash. Aha! The Raider Harnessed Metal Container. So if you come here, oh, it looks like it's a two for one. If you come to the Federal Ration Stockpile, not only is there, if you've got at least the two, two of the mods I've done, there is that backpack and. As long as we keep going, there is. Ooh, tracer rounds. That is from one of my mods.
happiness is beyond me. Now, if I remember, there's supposed to be a password somewhere. Hmm. Don't think I can take it. It might be behind this safe. This lock's really strong. Hmm. Lock tight. Okay. Well, let's see if we've got some perks that I can use. Let's see. Lock pick, lock pick. There's two of what we needed towards getting those that big that nice backpack anyways. And one of the hackers. Okay. I can swear that there is a... There it is. And of course, this lady has also got an RU-556 from time to time. Ah, oh, here it is. It's actually not in that room. It's actually right here. Excellent. Also known as this machine. We will equip it momentarily. All right. So the original, the blue Betty uses 308 rounds, improved aim stability, 15% faster movement speed, and a chance to stagger on hit. This machine, which has a lot less of the blue tape, and I don't believe it has a, it's got that as its special animation, has you can hide but you can't run from capitalism, 20% chance to cripple a target's leg. say if we could find a target but I do believe we're out of those here so we will have to of course we could have just left to the Commonwealth that way but what's the fun in that we'll go out the front door and yes that's also the main boss of this area red Tourette suggested to have really strong companions and for yourself to be extremely powerful when you come to fight her it is not a it is not suggested to do what I did if you are brave enough and think you can get in there or if you're sneaky enough to get in there all the way completely popper grab the thing and get over here and out the door by all means do it but we're not running a sneak build <laughs> and we probably won't whenever we get to fallout 4 for me for whenever two buddies play gets there so we now have this machine now, to show it off, we're going to go ahead and let's just delete a few of these. It's odd that that's now showing that I have mods installed. Usually it didn't. Hmm. That's just some birds. We need something spectacle. 
Hmm. Ah. I know where we could go from here. It's a little pond right there. Also known as Swan's Bond. If we find some things along the way, we could cripple them too. Until we get there, however, I will not be having this machine out. So we can move faster. We'll use Blue Betty for now. This will get us across the land a bit faster. And honestly, even if you don't have the 308, this is actually... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Softshell Mirelurks. They got legs. Right. Well, that was probably not a good idea. Let's see, where's the other one I saw? Well, darn. Hmm. Oh wait, we don't even have to go all the way to Swan's Pond. This place will be perfect. While we couldn't tell, it did, because it did take him out in two hits. Here we'll be able to sell. Ooh. We're going to go for this guy. This guy. just gonna go for his head it has a good high chance of crippling the leg okay Now see, that right leg is completely crippled. His right leg is completely crippled. Now the only thing is, what happens if you don't shoot the leg? So say, instead of the leg, we shoot his arm. His right leg is now crippled. And, if we look, his right arm is completely crippled. So that means Oh, behind us. So this gun, besides crippling legs, it actually cripples everything, it seems. Because both of his arms are crippled. Now his leg's crippled, for the most part. That was just to get rid of him. He was getting on my nerves. Now the final one over here. Just to prove the crippling effect. See, for the most part, his legs are completely crippled. And now it crippled his entire being.
And to be honest, they're pretty powerful on it. You can never say a gun that uses 308 is not powerful. As especially considering I believe if I'm remembering correctly, let me grab that mini nuke. Uh, I'm pretty sure the hunting rifle uses 308. And the hunting rifle pales in comparison at times to these. The Blue Betty and this machine. You've got a massive cripple increase and this. That may also do be due to... Uh, no. Okay. I was going to say it might be due to our backpack, but no. Our backpack's actually uh, a neg 2 to agility, so that does nothing. But yeah. The second legendary location for the M1 Garand, as well as how good it works. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. Next week, hopefully, we will be back on the Two Buddies Play Wagon. The week after that will be Thanksgiving, however. And for that week, thir we will more than likely be taking another week off from Two Buddies Play as Thanksgiving is a time to be thankful. However, next week we will be back. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.